going to go back in time and do a back in the day retro throwback what's in the box look at the MGB twins from Ashima. Hey guys, welcome into a throwback back in the day retro what's in the box for the MGB twins from Ashima. We have the 1968 GHM4 there on the right and the GH in 5D for the 1974 model year with the urethane bumper on the left. They have not been, these kits have not been reissued since about 2001, going about 18 years now. So I think it's time we should revisit the MGB kits if you don't know about them. They were first reissued, or first issued in 1994. The one on the right, the 1968 version, was issued and first made its appearance in 1994. Uh, I was just a teenager then, barely 14 years old. Wow, it's been a while. And then the the 74 version was uh, released in 1995 with the new parts, the urethane bumper version. And then Ravel, in that same year, reboxed it. And then in 1996, a race version was released with new parts, obviously. And then 1998. Uh, I think it was a 68 was reissued with uh, in a new box and then 2000 another race version was reissued and that again contained new parts and then the last time we saw the 68 I believe it was was in 2001 when Aerofix Aerofix reboxed it and reissued it under their brand new since they were last freshly reissued uh, you, they've been on eBay for a couple of years now because I've been chasing them down for a couple of years now on eBay but they've been going for about sixty to eighty dollars, or, or a little bit higher. So I'm very happy to see Ashima finally reissue both of them. Ashima did make a new set of wheels for the '74 version, and I'm going to cover uh, both kits at the same time. But we're only going to look at one of them. I'll just show you the the parts that differentiate differentiate the two of them. What makes a '68 and what makes a '74. So with that, let's get to it and check out what's in the box. So starting with the bodies, as you can see, they are exactly the same. They are identical between the two kits. And it's just the parts, the different parts that are going to make up the different model years. Moving on, we'll take a look at the chassis plate. Yes, yeah, so this will be a curbside, no engine detail. And the one big main parts tree for this kit. Fairly simple kit. And the interior parts tree. You only get right hand drive dash options as well. Now the only op the only option for is right hand drive. There we go. Take a look at the chrome tree. This is going to be out of the '68 kit. So there are the wire wheels for the '68. See, this is the you get the exact same parts tree in the 74 uh, version as well, and the clear parts tree as well. This is going to be the same for both kits. You see, you will have to mask off the window to spray the top if you want to use the top up, and the windshield barely hanging on by a thread there. Now we're going to take a look at the parts for the 74 version. See there's going to be two parts trees. Up first, the polyurethane bumpers there. And then I guess what you would call a tonneau cover, a cover for the cockpit if you want to do like a racing version. And then up next, the wheels. Some other new parts, I believe. So I believe this 
they made mention that they made up some, they did these wheels new for the kit. Now we'll turn our attention to the tires and the tire bag. Up first, the four tires. They do actually have some writing on them. They are not blank sidewall tires. They do say Dunlop. So we do have sidewall detail tires. So those are the tires. Nice and plate backing piece. And finally, the decals and some other bits. First up, the, you do get a window mask for to mask the uh, top and everything. So that is nice and handy. And you also get a set of photo etch if it'll come in focus. Kits. And the, the decal sheets here. So the one on the right is going to be for the 68 and the one on the left is going to be for the 74. That's going to wrap it up for this look at the MGB twins from Ashima, the GHM4 for the 1968 model year and the GHN 5D for the 1974 model year with the polyurethane bumpers. And of course, our good friend Jameson over scale finish, finishes can more than likely get, our, get us some MGB paint mixed up. I already have my two colors selected and on the paint list to send him for me. I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to make, I'm gonna make you wait to see what colors I chose. One of them could be blue. If you guessed that, you could be correct because I am known to do that. So anyways, on that note of blue, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.